What's up, guys? Zach's Pizzas, aka Confused Insurgent, here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. So, this is our uh, Soviet Russia USSR playthrough, and currently, we, uh, in the last episode, we took over all of Poland after helping Republican Spain uh, get well on its way to defeating Nationalist Spain in the Spanish Civil War, which is a pretty big accomplishment because Nationalist Spain, as I said last time, wins like 9 out of 10 times, 9.99 .9 out of 10 times even. We're now uh, lined up on the Romanian border and uh, considering going to war against Romania. Uh, the only problem is, I think if we started to justify against Romania with 27% uh, war score or, or world ten war tension, um, world tension rather, with 27% world tension, uh, the Allies are able to start guaranteeing the independence of countries at 25%. So I think if we if we tried to uh, justify against Romania right now, the Allies, uh, and that being France and Britain, even if they're not in the alliance yet, would start guaranteeing the independence of the countries we try to justify against. So what might be the better option is to... Let's check on the, the progress here. So they've got 19 to 27, 48 to 90. But they have zero. So it looks like the Republicans are pretty well ahead of the Nationalists as far as divisions go. It might be a good idea, regardless, for us to get back involved in this war before we go to war again. Also, I think we're going to have a civil war here soon, which kind of sucks. But you, you know, we got to do what we got to do. We do also need foreign versus non-core manpower. I like that too. Let's get a Prince of Terror in here. In um, hmm. Oh, also, uh, so I've, I've changed the um, recording, well, not the recording, I've, I've always been using Shadowplay, but I've changed some of my recording settings, and uh, and I've switched to uh, to using Adobe Premiere full-time. Uh, previously, I was using Premiere to export the, audio, the separate audio tracks from the video rec I recorded, and I was producing the videos in a different program, but I've switched to using Premiere entirely for producing the videos, so now everything's going to be in 4K60, so... Um, so you should see uh, a considerable increase in quality in all the videos. So I'm going from 1080p 30 to 4K 60 now. Uh, so you should be, should hopefully, uh, if you have a decent internet connection and or screen capable of displaying that resolution, you'll see a much nicer video. Uh, even if you don't have it though, even if you only got a 10, 1080p screen, simply uploading in 4K 60 means that YouTube will do less of its compression or will, when it does do its compression it'll have more um, data to work with which means the videos will look much better regardless of the quality you watch them on. So United Kingdom's trying to exert influence in Turkey and France and Britain announce an alliance. That's all well and good. Turkey uh, might be something I want to try to take actually. Let's see, Romania is guaranteeing Turkey so I could go after Turkey and Romania at the same time. I have the divisions to do it if I want to. I could pull away from, pull the 24 divs from the Japanese border for the moment, because they're not going to do anything to me anytime soon. Although, actually, Japan, going against Japan might be a good idea. They would eventually join the Axis, obviously, but if I went against them now, I could, I could actually wait until they went to war with China. And then push against them with when they when they le least expected it. When China joined forces, China you know goes into one one China to rule them all, kind of go against uh, Japan at that point. So I think the first thing to do let's get a little bit of war score or get a little bit of um, political power here. Okay, Japan's gonna go in, gonna start justifying against China very soon. I want to justify against Romania and see 210 days. I want to see if the Allies guarantee them. And even if they don't, Japan going against Japan's going to justify against China soon, which means that uh, I'm going to be I'm going to be kind of screwed. The wor world tension is going to go up very quickly. All right, so you know what? Let's just let's just give it a shot. Worst case, we'll cancel the justification. Yep, Britain and France. Damn it! We're going to cancel that. So Romania is a no-go. Interwar artillery. Okay. So what what our what our plan is going to need to be probably in since uh, Romania is off the table is uh, we're going to need to line up against Germany and then just kind of wait on them to just cancel all that line up here start right there just gonna have to wait on them to uh, go up against the Allies and then we'll push. 
Внимание! Get... Get Я tanks. готов! Tank divisions do we have right now? Готов выдвигаться. Should have quite a few to be honest. So 11. That's not terrible. Так, so точно. Then grab the rest of these. 11 tanks. Готов. I want to take 24 total divisions. До приказа. Break them out into another army. Assign them to Zukov and assign him here. So you're going to take Ostpusen when and if the time calls for it. So these guys did not join. That's the only problem with going against Poland so early. If you if you go against them before the before the Miedzi Moors uh, forms up, then you can't take out the rest of these guys without getting the allies involved. Uh, so okay, so I would remove the Prince of Terror. Well, that sucks. Or I could remove the Naval Reformer. Ground support, air superiority plus ten percent. Close air support. Stops being a general, increases penalty from officers purged. Yeah, I guess I need to do one more. I need, I, one one non-purge is okay. Two non-purges means the civil war goes uh, pretty big, pretty big time. So I want to stop that as much as possible. Okay, actually, yeah, you guys cancel that. Start here. And start training if you don't mind. Nope, I didn't. I did that wrong. Okay. Yes. Sorry. Apologies. Put your, yep, thank you. Go back here. It's my bad. Make sure you get that prep bonus. All those assigned division, unassigned divisions, which is only going to be a couple. Put them here. Start training. Civil War is going to pop sometime soon. Yeah, as soon as this Great Purge gets done, I think, uh, the Civil War is going to pop. So we don't have that long. We need to be prepped for that and ready to go. And it's probably going to happen somewhere down in the south here. Japan declared war on China. The Great Purge is over though, so we're good to go on that. Yeah, I want rehabilitated military, honestly. Um, to get armament effort. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab the rehabilitated military. We're going to have the officers purged uh, right now. So, yeah, division organization is 35% lower. We're get And we're getting bad bonuses to, uh, or deficits to our research on all doctrines, which kind of sucks also. Marines 1 is done. That is awesome. So we can actually get our, our good divisions going on the field in the field now. Is industry ready yet? Nope. We're nowhere near ready for the next level of industry. We're not that far ahead of time on uh, engineering. That might be something we want to consider. I'm already doing the support companies I want, so no need to do anything else there. And I don't think I'm ahead, ahead of time there. I, I guess 3% research should, sounds good, so let's go ahead and grab that. I do have empty or available military factories. I can plow into something. So we want to go, let's see, let's go like that. Chinese United Front forms, so China's going to start chomping up all these warlords now. Uh, I don't really need excavation right now. I can't get that yet. Let's go ahead and grab that. Not too far ahead of time. How's Germany looking? Thirty-five to sixty-five divisions. Man, I could if I if this civil war wasn't gonna pop, I could go after Germany. I just need to I need to take care of the civil war first. And also, I want to wait on Germany to eat Austria, so that so that when I do eat, when and if I eat Germany, it gives me a land border with Italy. I go support next. No precursor. All of you head there. Select half of the no. Royce. Select all. Half. One, two, Get three, four, five, and send them over here. I'm gonna need to start building up the Japanese border as well. Okay, we got the rehabilitated military. That's awesome. We get the land doctrine bonus. We're gonna start be able to start doing our um, our doctrine research. Okay, we got that. So let's see. Man, we do not have a lot of good. I guess armor genius. Fine. Not really much else we can do to be honest with you. Um, so, okay, so one thing I want to do here, since I am Soviet Russia, I have a whole shitload of 
bad infrastructure. One thing I want to do is make sure that I have a supply line all along the areas where I'm going to advance against Japan. So I want to build up infrastructure like this. And I want to go all the way back. Just make sure it goes all the way back there. And then kind of build up these lines here. Make sure that all my advance, all my advancing uh, opportunities against enemies in future will be fully supplied. And then we just kind of want to fill everything out maximum. Everything else eventually, and, and obviously. So I'm not going to prioritize this. This is just going to be construction that's going to be in place, and I'll just leave it in place. That way, I don't forget that I when, when and if I have free factories, they're at least doing something. And then any new construction that needs to be prioritized over this, I'll just move to the top of the queue manually. That way, infrastructure, when I have free factories, infrastructure will always be uh, being built somewhere. Until uh, until this gets done, which is going to take a long time. So, uh, alright, so now those, those factories will continue on, and they'll build the infrastructure as we have the ability to. Field Hospital 1 is done. I kind of feel like I should send some volunteers back to, um, I don't, I want to wait on that bonus to do that. There's not really anything I need in air right now, or air doctrine. I guess excavation is not bad. I think I should just send some more volunteers over to, to, uh, Republican Spain to make sure I can get five. So, one, two, three, four, no. One, two, three, four, five. Send them there. And give them Zukov. I know he's in charge of this other people right now, but that's fine. And send those volunteers. Five divisions to Zukov, if you don't mind. Nope, that's not what we want. Right there. There you go. Head to Moscow and start training. Here, So Zukov's going to head over to Republican Spain. Now he's there, and it's time for me to get my swole on. Where are you, Zukov? There you are. What I'm going to want to do here is try to push and grab these, uh, the sh these points. Uh, these guys stay here. Stop there. Two, if you don't mind. Okay. I think you head that way. Okay. One of you head there. One of you head here. Three of you head there. Okay, we got the next level light tank. So I can't research medium tank yet, so no point in even looking at that right now. I do want to go ahead and start producing that next level of light tank though. And actually give me two lines of that when and if available. Smirna! Okay, we want support here. Three of you head there. Well, it's going to take a minute because we're going across a river. It looks like we're actually losing that battle. So we actually uh, head here. Okay, we actually lost that also. So they're, they're, they're really beefing up the lines here. They don't want me to, to push. So actually, uh, two of them head over here. Head here. Support that attack. Nicely done, gentlemen. Right there. Support that attack. Military reorg is done, so our guys are a little bit better. Grab that armament effort. Um, let's see. Yeah, we want to go ahead and do that, because that's going to give us a research bonus. It helps the Germans a little bit, but it helps us too, so that's fine. And nothing if not practical. Now, my, my priority here is to make it to Burgos. So, select half of those guys right here. All but one head to Burgos. Excellent. Alright, so Burgos is done. Now, if you would please head here and here. Here. 
Alright, so that's two very important players. Can you, one of you guys head over here and grab that. That'd be amazing. Oh man, this, this might end the war right here. Grab that airport. And I'll just kind of grab all of these provinces. You're just going to kind of try to snipe the war from them, actually. Okay, that should be it. Should be a good game. They're not going to have enough divisions to support any of this crap. Grab all those provinces behind their units. Make them lose supply. Now they're all chopped off. That's game. That is good game, fellas. Nicely done. Spanish Civil War is done. Republican Spain is in charge. Nope. There you go. And select all half. Nope, sorry. Select all, half. There we go. Send all of you to the Japanese front. Got 64 divisions over there now, so that is very good for us. These fi those five tank divisions are going to head back. And they're going to join up with uh, Zukov again. Okay. Head there. And put Zukov back in charge. So we got we got two seasoned tank divisions now. That's awesome. Armament efforts done. Uh, okay, so we want to improve the railway network. Get some infrastructure bonuses going on here. Anschluss of Austria is done. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. Now the only problem is the civil war could pop at any moment. I don't want to be fighting Germany when the civil war pops. Because that would be bad. Alright, give me one more of these and three lines of three extra fighter lines and then um, fill out support equipment and then fill out tanks. I really need to stop. Okay, yeah. I don't know why I haven't done that already. There you go. Assign every. Okay, I can't assign anyone down, apparently because he doesn't have a field marshal. That's fine. Just get a crap guy. It doesn't matter. And assign all deployed units to him. Oh, he doesn't have any orders. No wonder. Okay, now he has orders. Now you can assign. Perfect. Now all units will automatically deploy into his. And actually, as soon as this guy hits 20%, I'm going to deploy these manually. That way we won't have these weird off-schedule units going on. Enemy air support minus 10% is not bad. It's not really, not really bad, so I'm going to take that. It's not great. I'd rather have, you know, like an attack and defense going on, but if it's the best we can do, it's the best we can do. Okay, computing machine is done. That's awesome. Go ahead and grab that. And grab encryption. Misclick that a couple times. We're still ahead of time there. Still ahead of time there. Way ahead of time there. Mm, did we get the uh, land doctrine bonus yet? We did. Okay. Cool. Grab that. So Russia is just really all about divisions, divisions, divisions. You just you just put men on the field. Put men on the field. And what I actually do want to do next is tell you what. Bring that. Keep that at two lines and give me some more arty. Because if I'm gonna go seven two with all the divisions I've got, then I just ne I need more artillery. So now it's just a, just a kind of a waiting game here. Um, I do want to go, I, if this civil war wasn't about to pop off, I'd go after Germany. The problem is it could go, it could go off at any time. The railway network is done, so we want to get the transpolar pant transpolar flights probably. 
Yeah, let's grab that. I kind of feel like I could probably take them, though, previous... I do, I, I do want to take them before they take Slovakia, or Czechoslovakia, because then they've got a lot of extra divisions rolling in. Man, that'd be, that'd be nice if I could just go ahead and grab Germany. And I definitely want to get at them before Italy joins the Axis. Hmm. Romania is still guaranteeing the independence of Turkey. If I if I did justify against them, would I think the Allies would probably get involved. Could go after Japan. I can't. The problem is, so I, I, if I do go after Japan, I'm gonna have to do like a an end around here here because I can't establish naval superiority around their islands. My navy is uh, crap, as they say, and. Um, Establishing naval superiority around their islands would be a problem. Okay, talented new officers. We're getting that officers that uh, officers purge penalty is going down little 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 bit by little bit. So by by 1940 that'll be gone entirely, but we're we're basically just gonna have to deal with it for now. Not a lot I can do honestly. Thirty-one divs here. Select half of those. Send these guys over to the Japanese front as well. So Japan's now rolling 84 divisions deep over there. That's pretty damn good. I know we're a little ahead of time on that. Yeah, I guess we have excavation. Just kind of some, it's something to pour some resources into for now. Oh, and I forgot. Oh, damn it, I keep forgetting to deploy these. These guys are probably going to deploy before it's ready to go. Tell you what, cancel all that. I'm gonna hold the divisions just in just a moment till I can deploy them all at the same time. Uh, okay, so I, I, I have a 50% bonus for the next level of tank, but I cannot use it yet because I'm way ahead of time. I'm ahead of time on this, but it's only 112 days. Go ahead and grab that. I want to wait until all these guys are at 20%, so I need to wait on this unit. Nanjing has fallen. Fourth International. Transporter flights is done. Grab the ocean going navy. How close are we? 20, everybody's at 20%. Okay. We've got pocket defense done. Grab defense in depth. You're going to go here. Nope, sorry. Nope. Nope. My bad. Go here. Okay. Go here. And then go here. And deploy them all. Now all of the next units are going to deploy at the same time. That's exactly what we want. Perfect. Now these units right here are going to train at different times, and that's not that big a deal. Because the next ones will all train at the same rate. Now grab that next. How are we doing? Okay, we're building up those artillery lines. I do want to make sure that we're still building military factories here, though. Put them back here, just in case. You never know with Germany. Move them up to the top of the queue. Okay, awesome. Keep going. Got some more political power to spend. Probably need a theorist. Let's see, can I get the... No, I need to wait. Okay, I need to wait to grab Georgi Zukov. So just remember, don't spend this political power until I have 250. What am I... Why am I not going up here? What's going on here? Oh, that's army experience. There's political power. I don't know what the hell I was looking at. I mean, I know what I was looking at. I was being an idiot. We're up to 3.7k artillery. That's uh, nowhere near enough to switch to 7.2 yet. Yeah, these guys, okay. These guys are trained up. I'm going to send these to Germany. Give us 115 divisions on the German border. And that's a that's a pretty good start. All right, so Czechoslovakia is gone, but that was expected. Can I now extend my line down to cover Slovakia as well? I can. Perfect. All right, so we got 115 divisions now on the border with Germany, closer to 100, 130, 140 if we count Zukov's army, which would 
which would reincorporate, and officer's purge is now even lower. So we're only at 20% organization loss. It's not terrible. And Germany is... Uh-oh. Okay, Civil War. Here we go. What do we got here? Okay, that's a pretty big split, but that's not terrible. Where are these 67 divisions? Okay. Yeah, you guys are going to cancel all your current orders. You're going to go under... I don't have any field... I have one field marshal. Alright, so promote him. Let's give us a level 2 field marshal. Head this way. And then all of these guys get off the German border. Head this way. All of these units... You know what, actually, just, just take the ones that are already trained. The rest of you can keep training. Oh, no, you already got your orders. You guys head over here. All of you head here. You're going to go after Stalingrad. Nope, okay. Cancel that. Cancel that. Uh, actually, do this way. Just like that. And then you Bullshit. gentlemen are going to head this way. Just like that. Perfect. And we're good to go. All right, I'm going to put a cut in here. Next time, we will take care of the Civil War and then turn the full force of the Russian army on the German Reich. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.